The name of this video is BlenderVideos.com, Blender Videos website. I don't claim to have a monopoly on Blender knowledge. Quite the opposite. Blender is blessed to have an active community of smart, active users who are enthusiastic about sharing their wisdom with others. A recent example of this is BlenderVideos.com, a Blender-focused website that is amazingly only a couple of weeks old. The first post was about December 16, 2009, but even in this short time is now crammed with useful articles and tutorials about Blender. The owner, Nathan John of Bandung, Indonesia, his email is blendervideos at gmail.com, is a tireless Blender enthusiast who's put together a truly incredible site that benefits all of us as Blender users. Think of blendervideos.com as Google for Blender. The purpose of this video is to introduce blendervideos.com and to encourage you to contribute to it. In addition, I've been asked numerous times questions like, where should I start learning Blender? What's the best Blender book? Where's all the information I need to get up to speed in Blender? How do I learn about a particular Blender feature? I want to show you how I do my Blender research. So let's look at the tutorial section of blendervideos.com. Full disclosure, I've already uploaded links to some of my tutorials to blendervideos.com. I confess, I'm always looking for more viewers. To get them, just search for Ira Krakow. There are links to eight of my tutorials. My smoke simulator tutorial, uploaded December 26th, got 900 views. My most recent one on ambient occlusion in Blender 2.5, just uploaded today, has over 400 views already. Not too shabby. Okay, enough shameless self-promotion. Suppose you want to find out more about ambient occlusion than just my tutorial. Just search on ambient occlusion. There are eight videos, including a whole range of situations where AO works well. In the Blender game engine, simulating AO with vertex colors, excluding objects from lights, color bleeding, as well as two others on basic setup. I'm sure you can learn a lot from these videos that I haven't covered in my video. I've been asked whether there's one place where everything about Blender can be found. My answer is yes and no, because the answer is probably anything you want to know about Blender has been written about somewhere on the internet. However, it's sometimes difficult to track a particular answer to your question easily. What's really lacking is a good strategy to find out your answer. Let me show you how I track down answers. Suppose I want to do a tutorial on rigging. How would I start? The first thing I would do is a Google search on Blender rigging. By the way, it was not too long ago when if you asked Google this question, you might get pages about kitchen blenders, oil rigs, sailing rigs, maybe somebody getting murdered, getting hit over the head with a blender. There was an Alfred Hitchcock story about a man murdered by his wife with a frozen lamb chop, which she then served to the police investigator. Blenders are pretty heavy objects. Maybe if you're lucky, you might get a link to what you were looking for on page three of the results. Google is much smarter now. The results actually are relevant to Blender 3D, even though you didn't explicitly ask, I want to know about rigging in Blender 3D. The top page links to the Blender Wiki on character rigging in Blender from the Blender Summer of Documentation, BSOD, which actually is a pretty good place to start. Definitely the BSOD page is a must read. The next link to squidoo.com is another great tutorial on the basics of character animation in Blender. There are links also to the Creature Factory, the Man Candy Fact, how to do a walk cycle, and others. These are also well worth your time. The next links are how to rig a hand and foot and two YouTube tutorials. I haven't done any rigging tutorials yet, so I know they're not mine. All are, I am sure, very helpful. The next place I would go is YouTube. They say a picture is worth a thousand words. A video is really a lot of pictures taken quite fast, so a video must be worth at least a million words. There are some pretty fantastic results, including a series of tutorials about rigging and make human, an experimental project for producing rigs of humans just by adjusting some sliders, as well as a woman's body and face rig and Super 3 Boys armature tutorial. Again, all of these will help you become a rigging expert in no time. BlenderVideos.com is yet another place to go for enlightenment. Here's the result of that search. We're now introduced to IPO drivers, skinning, and auto-rigging. 
I've heard it said that it's hard to find stuff about Blender. I disagree. There's plenty of stuff out there. The problem is how to find it. I hope that this tutorial has given you some ideas about how to do it. Happy blendering!